Hey everyone, a lot of people in America think that President Trump is some kind of Manchurian candidate groomed by the KGB to have a buffoon in Washington for the next four years and so the world will have to turn to Vladimir Putin for world leadership. Um, you'd think it'd just be easier for Putin to buy a shirt and tie and leave the horses alone. Um, is there a grain of truth in it? I certainly hope it's not a grain of polonium 210, that's how they do things out there. Contrast that to the UK, though, where a lot of people think that the Soviet Union-loving fanboy Jeremy Corbyn is some kind of secret conservative plant, groomed in order to keep the Labour Party out of power. Um, certainly as a libertarian, I for one was very happy to see the leavers of power handed over to his close circle of unelectable overgrown students with their social justice warrior, virtue-tilting, privilege-checking idiocy. But that brings us to this week's by-election results in Stoke and Copeland, which show that while a stop clock is right twice per day, uh, Jazz will have to settle for it once. Um, seems that for now the proletariat in the north of England have looked revolutionary politics in the eye and decided that, you know, the National Health Service, that's okay, but complete overthrow of capitalism, taking it a bit too far. Uh, at least Jeremy Corbyn has his own hair, though, and that's saying something these days. Anyway, see you next week. And if you like these, why not click subscribe?